Hi, in mentoration next we have a hollow hemisphere which is also known as a hemispherical shell. Now here this is the figure which represents a hemispherical shell which almost is just like a soup bowl. I'm sure all of you people must have had soup. Okay, so this is the external radius and this is the internal radius and on top we get a structure like this which is known as the annulus where we have a portion which is a circle within another circle and this portion which is between both the circles is where the material is filled in now if you require to find out the volume of the material which has made this hemispherical shell then that is 2 upon 3 pi times of capital R cube minus 2 upon 3 pi times of small r cube Further, to find out the curved surface area, which is also known as the lateral surface area, there are two in number. One is the internal and the second is the external. The internal is 2 pi small r square and the external is 2 pi capital R square. Further, we talk about the total surface area, which except the curved surface areas just discussed, is also the area of the annulus, which is the portion between both the circles. And that is pi times of capital R square minus small r square. So this is all the formula that we have in a hemispherical shell. I hope you people must have understood all of this, but this will be better understood if you understand this with the help of a sum for that to click the link which is there in this picture from where I'm speaking and you will get me on the other side giving you a free lecture explaining all of this with the help of a sum then you'll be more clear make sure you get to the link and look up that sum bye meet you people there